Hey, so we just learned about the cleaning house process, unclogging, unclogging the drains. Um, what we need to do now is to implement some of those tools, get them set up. Now, you know, you have an opportunity right now as we move forward to now take the series from video one or video one series and then these video two, put them together so as you're moving forward you've you know checked your body composition, you've done measurements, you have the before and after, you have the eating program together, you're all cleaned up there. Now, it takes about 21 days for you to see, you know, a major change, but it'll take about seven days to see, you know, uh, an immediate or feel an immediate change. Now, the next part here is to get the exercise in place. A lot of times people come in and they want to do something really aggressive and I have to kind of bridle their enthusiasm because they're sometimes not in the kind of shape that they believe they're in. I mean, coming from the world I've come from, going into, you know, as a candidate for the Navy SEAL teams, uh, I know hard work. I get it. Um, and, you know, I've traveled with a bunch of bodybuilders and some of my friends are pro bodybuilders. I've trained, you know, competitive female uh, bodybuilder figure in bikini. And so the training world has a whole lot of different things about it as far as levels of fitness. And when someone comes in and they, you know, may use the one of the newer programs, the DVD markets on the, you know, TV that they saw online and, you know, they're using bands and balls and tubes and all this stuff. When they make a transfer into free weight training, big difference. Uh, cardio, do you use machines? Do you have injuries? Do you need to use, you know, or can you use MRT, which is my, uh, basically my commando workout that I did in BUDS. Uh, you know, repackaged and renamed all across the universe here on the internet, um, but it's the best cardio going. So we're going to talk about how to structure your exercise program based on where you are first, what your physical limitations are, the injuries that you have, and then show you how we can put together the rest and recovery strategy so that you have an opportunity to prolong your experience with training because you get injured, you have to stop. And when you stop, you have to change your diet. You can't keep eating like you're running marathons every day and then expect to not gain weight. So there's lots of things going on and it's like hitting a moving target. So I'm going to teach you all of these things in this next phase. Okay? So let's take a look at these videos. <laughs> 